walk to Helmcrag starts down at the roadside parking along the A591. After following the road and joining a country lane to Helmside, the route starts to head up the valley of Greenburn. After crossing the river and following a zigzag path up to Bracken Hawes, the path turns southeast, straight for the Howitzer, the true summit of Helm Crag. The entire summit ridge is followed past the Grassmere Line and the Lamb to begin the steady descent with excellent views over to Sour Milk Gill and Eastdale Tarn. Once at the valley floor, it's a simple walk along quiet country lanes to the village of Grassmere and then back to the start. Helm Crag is more affectionately known as the Lion and the Lamb and stands proud overlooking the popular tourist spot of Grassmere. Following the road past the Traveller's Rest, the route crosses the A591 at Mill Bridge to enjoy a quieter route to Guildford and Helmside. This is where the ascent begins, first by taking this narrow lane up to gain access to the Greenburn Valley. Greenburn is a very quiet valley, giving access only to a handful of fells and managing to keep its serene and peaceful atmosphere. Heading off the main track, the route heads down to cross the stream via a footbridge, which also marks the start of the steep ascent to Bracken Hawes. A newly constructed zigzag path helps ease the gradient and makes the ascent much easier than it used to be. As you approach Bracken Hawes, the ground begins to level slightly and you get distant views of the fells around Great Langdale straight ahead. But after turning southeast, the path begins the final ascent to the summit ridge. Helmcrag's towering crown of rocks, aptly named the Howitzer, marks the fell's true top. Standing almost 30 feet higher than the rest of the fell, it's a challenge where most walkers may not succeed. Even the legendary fell walker Alfred Wainwright failed on reaching the top of this rocky pinnacle. As you make your way southeast along the ridge towards Grassmere Line and the Lamb, the views over the Vale really begin to open up, as do views down the full length of Far Easdale. This rocky peak is easier to climb and the views are no less dramatic. The path used in descent follows the most popular route up this fell. It is unlikely that you'll not pass anyone as you make your way down to the valley floor. The views in front stretch to the waterfalls of Sour Milk Gill and the full length of Far Easdale, topped by the peaks of the Langdale Pikes and Tarn Crag.
As you arrive down at the valley floor, there are numerous routes into the village of Grasmere. I have chosen one past Lank Creek, which follows a quiet lane and looks over to the beautiful house. Now a cafe, the house was once a popular place for the world-famous Lakeland poet William Wordsworth to visit. The path into Grasmere is a simple one to follow and leads you right into the heart of the village. There are numerous shops, cafes and interesting places to visit including the famous Grasmere gingerbread shop. From here, it's about a 10 minute walk along the road back to the start.